Hey, what's up, boat friends? Around 8 p.m. Central Time, we have a 1,004-foot vessel coming inbound, completely empty. That's a Misabi Miner coming in to load iron ore pellets. I got such a funny story to tell you. Give me one second to set you up with the conditions. Got some decent waves on the Park Point side, as you can see. 61 degrees. Wind, 8 miles per hour out of the north. Aerial lift bridge up 135 feet. The canal current is neutral right now, so it should be pretty easy for the miner to come inbound. Well, here's the story. So I'm standing down here getting set up, and a gentleman comes up to me, and he goes, are you Vibe? I said, yes, I am. And you know, I'm pretty incognito, so it kind of surprised me. And I said, how did you know? And he says, well, he says, I see you holding that device, and I see you have a phone in your other hand, so I figured it was you. And so I wrote all this down just so I could pass this along, but I had a wonderful conversation with Jonathan, Dana, and their son, TJ, and they also had their dog, uh, Yorkshire Terrier, which is the funniest part of the story. I'll get to that in one moment, but uh, they're from Dell City, Oklahoma, right outside of Oklahoma City, and they're going to be here in Duluth for about three days, and they're going to work their way up to uh, Canada. So I uh, had a wonderful conversation. Well, anyway, TJ, he's six years old, and... Uh, he was able to name the dog. And so this is going to be the dog's name forever. And TJ chose Spider-Man. So I was able to meet and pet Spider-Man, which is a Yorkshire Terrier, which is awesome. So uh, there you go. There's a dog out there named Spider-Man. So if you see that dog, there's a good chance that that, uh, that dog is from Dell City, Oklahoma. So anyway, just wanted to say uh, hello to all of them. Well, Masabi Miner, like I said, coming in to load iron ore pellets. Let me get you quickly caught up here on marine traffic. So as you can see, the miner is coming inbound here. That's a Duluth area lift bridge. It's going to go through the Blotnik over here to CN to load those iron ore pellets. I mentioned this uh, many times in the past. There is a total of... 13 1,000 foot vessels out on the Great Lakes. Give you a little zoom here before it gets right next to us. And we'll check out some details on the vessel. You can see those stacks going already. Well, here's some information. Masabi Mine, 1,004 feet in length, built in 1977. Built at the American Shipbuilding Company in Ohio. Owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company out of Ohio. Masabi Miner was christened in 1977 to honor the men and women of Minnesota's Masabi Iron Range. This is the sister ship of the James R. Barker, which everybody knows, that loud horn and whistle. Her self unloading system includes three cargo hold belts and a 265 foot boom, two diesel engines, around 16,000 horsepower, seven holds, 36 hatches so this is a legit legit great lake ship give you a feel for the crowd right now well let's get back to the star of the show and being that she's coming in empty you can see the vessel is sitting out of the water pretty high I definitely hear crew members that are unlocking the hatches right now. I can hear that. So we'll see if there's a view of that as well. Take a look at that bow cutting through the water there in the canal. There you go, decibel reading, 100.5 for the miner. There's a crew member walking on deck I see right there. You got the hard hat, a couple of them. You can see them actually unlocking the hatch right there. Great looking vessel, the very familiar color scheme that we've seen many times before. 
one of the most interesting and memorable names, really, Masabi Miner. That's a tough one to forget. I see some more activity there on deck. You can see unlocking those hatches. It's a lot of work. See another uh, individual that's there on the back side of the superstructure. It's always fun watching the, the crowd interact with the individuals on the vessel. I'm sure that they're excited too to see the big crowd come out for them. Well, it's great to see the miner make it in successful. On the way in, as I mentioned, to load iron ore pellets. We got another one in the book, another chapter of the Masabi Miner. And as you know, boat friends, I always appreciate you. I'll be out here with the next vessel. And if you're interested in additional videos, there's a few to choose from.